This is Zero, let's carry on where we left off. We're heading towards the purple dot straight away this time. Unless we run into Mr. Shakedown again, in which case I wouldn't mind getting engaged in a one-on-one -on -one with him. But it looks like we're already at our destination, so let's go ahead and progress the story a little bit, shall we? Hello. Sushi, please. How are you, sir? Oh. I've got a lot of work to do, you know. So We did learn a little bit about uh Majima's history. And how he lost his eye and his brother in arms, so to speak. With his unknown fate. Uh the glass is empty. Suppose I better fill it up myself. Thank you. Street food. Always delicious. Might even be better than the clubs. <laughs> I have a feeling that those prices are now inflated. <laughs> I suppose only rich people can question that. <laughs> For a lot of people, it's lifeblood. Oh. But, is that salt? I don't look very happy, do I? Very unmotivated. Thank you. Damn. Hopefully this will warm up our cold demeanor. There we go. Is that a little bit of a smile on Majibus' face there? <laughs> it's a little bit of awkward laugh to break the silence. Well, thanks for the drink. なんだよ。最初の一杯きり全然飲んでねえじゃねえか。ふふ。まあ、わけわかんねえよな。極道の世界で親に逆らった奴は必ず相応の報いを受けるもんだ。so what happened? How did we get out of there? A whole year! Holy shit! And then we got Toad Man over here. Damn, he's been Damn, even I'm puzzled straight back from that. I definitely find Majima very fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a pretty sweet one, gotta say. Even if it was whipped for a whole year. What made you come back here? Revenge, perhaps? Or because he doesn't know what else to do. 
His brother. お前が登場会にいた時の兄弟分だっけそいつのためって言ってたよな<笑> There you go. You're some... 18人殺しの佐江島大河か当時は大騒ぎになったもんだ登場会と敵対していた地元組織上野世話会の会合に単身襲撃<笑>結果相手組員18人を射殺したんだからよ、well, 登場会のいける伝説こっちでも随分話題になった。けどその佐江島も今や無所だが、uh, 18人もやったんだ。あとは死刑判決を待つだけだろ。なのにお前はそいつのために登場会への復帰を望んでいる。そこがわかんねえんだ。兄弟は兵の中で死ぬようなたまやない。あいつは必ず戻ってくる。Looks like him and Kiryu both have people in jail. Oh, they... oh right. He probably thinks that he betrayed him. Oh, I'm going to say that. 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 I'm going t o 西島が戻ってきた時の席を用意する必要があるっつ。<笑>泣ける話じゃねえか。That guy doesn't seem like the kind of person who can kill him. Dies so easily. まあ、俺も大門違いとはいえ、シマノの兄弟には仲良くさせてもらってるからな。でもまあ、俺だったら自分の人生のすべてを捨ててまで他人のために生きる道を選択する気にはなれねえな。Mm. お前もいい大人なんだ。Doesn't have any autonomy, does it? Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's i n t e r e s We're just going to discuss this right in front of the street vendor. Nonde or so nine o'clock. It does an acre. You do anything, you don't need moderator, not an undemo erutio. Chigan, what depends? Am I killing a scumbag or an innocent person? Or a misen or yange? Ato go, go, I get a go, go, ni moder. Odet seker and nozomi of Kinutega. We'll take the long route. Most to the half a billion in the yen room. Moshi or go, Odet say, need endax there, son on a she. Why you want to force me to take this deal? Sheesh. Where does the slippery slope lead to? Is it one of the shakedown people? Because I'd happily kill him. Makimura Makoto. Kita go to Naika. Darius. Shiranaika. Saikin so temple the Arakasegi still by Shun Soshki no Motojimeda. Really? By Shun. So he's a Makimura was so cora no Joshida say Arawaka on now Skamaita or Kasemasete, Sono Agario Suyanet. Sono Soshi Karanigeda so monara. Oh, yeah, I could happily take him out. Sure. Much easier. I don't know where to go. This drink got a little bit of a shit there. Makimura was on the other side of the telegraph. If you were to go to the テレクラでマキムラの息のかかった女を探すちゅうことか仕事の期限は2日だ2 days それまでに的を仕留めろもしそれを超えた場合今度はお前が狙われる立場になるいいな Well そら楽しみやな<笑>殺しの方法はお前が、no、仕事を終えたらこの番号へかけろ。どんなふうに言うと、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私たちは、私
殺しに人数や相手は関係ねえ一人殺そうが18人殺そうが成人を殺そうがクズを殺そうが人殺しをしてやった瞬間真っ当な人生には二度と戻れなくなる街を歩こうが家にいようが人を殺したっていう記憶が頭から離れなくなる極道の先輩として忠告しておくけど殺しなんてやらないで済むならその方がいい当たり前だよな、うん、でもお前はてめえの目的のために見ず知らずの誰かを殺せるかうるさいわ<笑>どっちみち人の一人殺せんやつは極道として犯人前や Well, we're a lot more animated now, aren't we? So, maybe it was the Saki talking. Thanks for paying, at least. Ah, I'm going to go to the Let's find him and end him. For Majima's sake. This is a good thing. My big chance to get back to the Yakuza life. I still got time. The absolute worst thing I can do is rush it. Screw up. I'll start tomorrow. Do it right. Tonight I just need to get to bed. I hope that wasn't Makoto Makagura. Right there. A little bit inebriated, but that's okay. Alright, we're ready for bedtime, or are we going to pursue one of these sub stories? I can also go to、um, the shop and see if I can scout for some weapons. Uh oh.、Hmm? What's going on? Someone throwing up? Oh, you're right. Aaron's on the run. Boy. Hey, be careful. Can't barrel through a crowd like that. I,、uh, I'm so sorry. I'm in a hurry. It's fine. What's the big rush? I have to go to the convenience store. The one over there.、Hmm? Well, you're in a really big hurry, but you stop in to chat, huh? You got real problems if you need to hit a convenience store that bad. Hi. Yes. I have to get some lip balm right away. Seriously? Yes, lip balm. I'm in a hurry, so I have to run. Bye! <laughs> Are you sure you need lip balm? Hey, what's up? Are you in some sort of pain? Oh, yeah. My feet have been sore ever since this morning. I want you to slow down a bit and go easier on yourself. Because <sighs> if I don't run, I won't make it in time.、Huh? This is getting real cryptic. What do you mean? I'm sorry. I really have to get going. Bye! <sighs> Must be a real emergency to be on that kind of tear for lip balm. Maybe his lips are like sandpaper or something. Hmm. Well, let's go follow him. Where's that convenience store at?、Mm. Huh? That boy on his ass. That's the fellow who was in a hurry to buy some lip balm. And it just so happens that the shoulder phone guy is right here as well. Right, well, maybe I can call for an emergency if I need to. Oh, good. Hey, you down again? Oh. Oh. Hi again. It's my feet. The pain spreading and worsening. <sighs> and then I tell you to slow it down and walk. Yes, you did. But I was in a hurry. I'm sorry. Sheesh. How chapped were your lips? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my feet. What? Hey, you gonna make it? <sighs> Damn. Whew. If only I had some medicine with me. <clears throat> medicine, huh? Didn't realize his lips were down on, the f on his ankle there. Hand over some medicine. We won't abandon him. What am I gonna hand over? Let's、uh, give him something that doesn't heal dramatically, which is nothing. Okay, you can have one. Here, drink this. It's only a couple thousand yen. I'll be able to pick up a couple more anyway. It'll help. <coughs> Pardon? You mean I could have this?、Ah. Yeah, all yours. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> drank it like a shot. <sighs> Pain's fading away. Thank you again. <laughs> Good to hear. By the way, did you get those chapped lips of yours taken care of? Who?、Cool. Pardon? My chapped lips? I'm sorry, I don't understand. That's not to understand. You were the one hauling ass to get lip balm. Were your lips about to fall off or what? Here.、Yeah. Oh, I see the misunderstanding now. It wasn't for me. It was rushing because the girl I liked asked me to get it for her in a hurry. Oh, no. Oh, gotcha. You were doing your girl a favor earlier. Not his girl. Yeah, basically. I run errands <laughs> like that for her all the time. <laughs>、huh? Really? And you don't mind being a little errand boy? Go get me this, run out and get me that. Not at all. 
She really trusts me, so I'm happy to go out and get things for her. Errands are opportunities for me to get her to notice me. Dude, she's already noticed you. And she's using you. Uh-huh. <clears throat> I can't shake the feeling that this girl is just using him. But if that floats his boat, I ain't gonna rock it. And because I was so diligent about running errands, she's given me a nickname. When we first met, she just called me by my last name. I'm making headway. What does she call you now, her bitch? That's so. What's she call you now? She calls me Aaron Kun. <clears throat> that ain't a nickname to be proud of. Girl's got a sharp sense of humor and it cuts too deep. <laughs> so deep he didn't even realize it. Listen, that nickname of yours? You do realize she's turned you into her personal servant, don't you? Oh? Huh? Is that really how it looks? I mean, what does she give you in return, huh? Just some attention now and then? But even if that were true, I still have a crush on her. It's all well and good, but she's running your feet into the ground. Literally. That medicine's a nice quick fix for now, but I doubt you're all healed up. Mm. Oh, maybe you're right. I'll try talking to her and see if she gives me permission to stop running errands for a bit. <laughs> no, then she'll just cut her friendship, quote-unquote, with you entirely. <sighs> He's not a quitter, I'll give him that. But if she wants anything, I've got to be the one who goes out to get it for her. It has to be. See, this is classic nice guy mentality, you know? Uh, it's like, you know, I'm going to do her a couple of favors, and in return, she's got to like me. She's got to love me, actually. She has to. She has to repay all the good stuff I've done for her, when you don't realize, you know, it's just a good thing to be a friend like that. And you're not owed anything, because you do a couple of favors down there, especially when she runs his feet into the ground this much. Well, I should be going. Thank you so much again. You know, the nice guy mentality is when is basically thinking, all I have to do is be nice, and people will love me, and want to date me. That's not the case at all. There has to be chemistry, there has to be some attra attraction. You have to make your intentions known as well. Like, you can't just be like a friend. You also have to flirt a little bit, maybe? A little bit of teasing? That's why people get confused. Like, oh man, he's always an asshole to her. Why does she like him? Because, you know, maybe he's not a complete asshole. Maybe he just teases her now and then and just has a little bit of fun with her. And, you know, she, she sees him more than just a friend, for instance. Aaron could. I can understand wanting to impress the girl of your dreams. Don't let it turn into a nightmare. Okay, well, he's on his own. Good luck. Sorry, didn't mean to scare you. Alright, home's right there, but let's explore a little bit. Whoa, I've got a little casino tucked away in this back alley here. Let's check it out. Do a little bit of gambling. Oh, we got blackjack. What do we have over here? Poker, maybe? And what's that roulette over there? Interesting. Welcome to our casino, sir. You will need chips to play our games. To exchange money for chips, please speak to a dealer at any table. Any remaining chips are exchanged back to cash when you decide to leave the game table. I wish you the best of luck. Well, I wouldn't mind playing a little bit of blackjack. Why the hell not? Ooh, card tower over here. Welcome to the blackjack table. To play a game, you need a minimum of 100 chips. Would you like to play? Uh, sure, why not? I'm game. Excellent. What? Six card Charlie. I've drawn six cards without going bust. I win automatically. I'll take that. Alright, let's keep going. Stand up. Oh, of course, he gets 20. You son of a bitch. Of course. Oh my god. I knew. I knew straight away as soon as I saw that 10. Oh my god. Even though I've got pocket kings? Blackjack. Blackjack, I'll take it. Hit up. Well, I've ended with more money than I started with, so I think that's a good time to leave. Ending on a 21 is also good. That was fun. I'll definitely be back. Thank you for letting me into your establishment. What do we have down here? All oh, right, of course. Oh, what am I gonna do? Still not close to a solution, huh? Oh no, no luck at all. I suppose you couldn't get any leads on a forger either. <laughs> here, take this business card and go to the address on it. It's an office. You handed over Fawn's business card. Huh? What is this? There's a forger there. Show him the card, tell him you know me, and he ought to make you a top quality fake of your heart necklace. <gasps> You... 
You're not pulling my leg, are you? I know it's April Fool's, but no, not this time. I knew you were someone special the moment I saw you. <laughs> nah, ain't nobody special. Just got lucky. Oh, uh, may I ask your name? Majima. Thank you very much, Majima-san. I'm sorry, but I'm running out of time. I'll go see him right away. You do that. Just remember, four just work on the wrong side of the law. Mind your manners, or you might get hurt. Hi! I will. Uh, thank you again. Is it all resolved? <sighs> hmm. Bonsan the Forger seems like a good sport. But that fellow's just a normal guy. Who knows what could go wrong? Maybe I'll check in on him when I get a minute. Uh-oh. Some story's not over. They might run into some trouble. Let's keep an eye out. Once you're more from once you become more familiar with weapons, Majima san, I will teach you new ways to wield them. Yeah. Not really gonna be necessary. You gotta be a genius to work out which way's the pointy end. Mm. Consider it part of my service. It would be a shame to leave the full power of the weapons you obtain from me untapped. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, I got my own way of doing things. But hey, if you'll go through the trouble, I'll hear you out. It's the one who taught us the slugger fighting style, so maybe we have something to learn. I would also recommend that you work at honing your bat skills. There is a wealth of hidden potential there. You think so? Oh no, I kind of figured bat meets head was pretty much the extent of it. Yeah. No, you have much more to learn. By my estimation, your bat technique could prove more deadly than even swordplay. If you develop it. More deadly than a sword? You serious? I mean, it is a pretty blunt object that could deal some serious damage to anyone's brain. So this. Quite. The bat and the katana are alike in length. They say some baseball players purchase a katana and practice their swings with them to heighten their focus. But considered as another class of weapon, that bat's weight resting at the far tip yields exceptional destructive power, making it distinctly different from a blade. Yeah, it's more crushing, whereas a blade is more stabbing <sighs> and slashing. Yeah, they're obviously two different things, but the principle's not so far off, right? Yeah, I could stab someone with a bat, right? If I thrust hard enough, <laughs> I'm sure it'll penetrate them. Yeah. I'm telling you, there are techniques you could perform with a bat that simply wouldn't be possible using other weapons. I suggest you work on uncovering these. <laughs> <laughs> You're making a big deal out of this, but a bat's a bat if you ask me. You just whack people with them. This is a truly groundbreaking technique. I will teach you new weapon skills as you progress, but I ask that you show me your bat fighting skills in return. What, like, like Batman fighting? Or the baseball bat. I'll show you anything you want, but I ain't exactly the professor type. Yeah. Hey, I got an idea. Yeah. What is that? When you teach me new weapon moves, how about you take me on with that weapon? I'll fight back with a bat. Mm. It would be difficult for you to pick up new techniques that way, I fear. I believe it is better to begin by learning the proper stance and forms. What? You gonna make me a pro baller start by playing catch? We ain't exactly amateurs here. I'd rather get a feel for a weapon naturally, in a fight. I see. I suppose that method may be better suited to you. <laughs> I've been looking forward to going another round with you anyway. <laughs> this should be fun. <laughs> Perhaps that is your true motive. Well, I will be here when you are ready to continue your training. Alright. Well, I've got some bat skills, right? Are we ready to go? Have you been working on your bat techniques, Majima-san? I could teach you about the following weapons. Balls, Kali Sticks, Tonfa, and the Nunchaku. Nunchaku. Let's go with the uh, Kali Sticks. You wish to learn the Kali Sticks? Then we will train in actual combat, as you suggested, Majima-san. Are you healthy and ready to fight? I'm ready. Ah. Yeah, I'm good. Then let us go outside. You didn't want to trash your store? I get you. Kali Sticks consist of two short sticks. They are usually made from a wooden, from a wood called rattan. Have you heard the word Kali before, Majima-san? Uh -huh. Nope. Enlighten me. Aye. Kali is actually the name of a martial art in the Philippines. It is their national sport. The word Kali comes from the local language. Oh, really? Damn, I don't even know my heritage. <laughs> the weapon spread throughout the United States, and the word sticks was added. I'll leave out the details, but their practicality has made them popular around the world. A weapon from the Philippines, huh? Who would have thought? You really think they're world famous? Mm. Yes. It is easy for simple weapons such as these to take out, to take root. Mm. Well, maybe they'll just take it off here in Japan then. The only thing I've seen that uses two sticks are taiko drums. <laughs> Do not underestimate their potential to cause harm. Ah. Well, there's a little doggy sleeping in the kennel there. Sure, let's get the show on the road then. 
I look forward to getting another look at your bat techniques. We should avoid using our more powerful moves. Alright, here I come. Okay, I'll avoid bashing your brains in. Training with Feihu. Alright, let's go. Bring it on, bring it on. Oh, damn. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> Oh, 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 that's my back. You can't do that. Oh, God. I can't even, even let him get a shot off. I need to be able to dodge straight away. Oh. I said, let me stand up, damn it. Damn, Feihu. Okay. All right. It's okay, I'll master the deadly arts of baseball bats. Oh, the street fighter! Oh no! There we go. I learned to block. I've leveled up. Oh, oh my heat meter decreased. Nice try. I got this. No! Oh <laughs> god. I was wondering if it was worth healing or not. Probably not. Not at that rate. Those sticks suck. <laughs> Can you walk? Let us return to the store. Are you okay, Majimasa? <sighs> yeah, just my dignity. I'll tell you where you can shove those sticks, though. Mm. The fact that you failed to beat me shows you have yet to fully grasp the properties of Kali sticks. You're welcome to keep trying until you win. Thanks. Let's go another round. All right, I'm ready. Rematch. Let's go. Oh god. Oh, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I'm not healthy. Ow! 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 ow. At least I recovered my health. Okay. We just need to be able to block when we need to. Oh, I don't like being in that corner. Yeah, that's right. Not this time. Though. Ooh. Even though he's trapped, if I whack my bat. Damn, I need to not do that finisher bat move there. Yeah, this one's a lot better. Damn it! Why are you such a tryhard for her? A lot of sweating going on here. Oh god! That was some good damage. Alright. I guess I can't use my heat moves. <sighs> uh, I guess we did say that we're not going to use our strongest attacks. Oh no! If he catches me in the back, I have no chance. Oh, damn it. Every time. Oh, do I heal or do I just fight him? I can do this. I can beat him. I'm stubborn like that. Oh, this is so close. There we go. Gotcha. How's that for some bat robotics? <laughs> yeah. Sticks lose. <laughs> Not that first time, though. Well fought, Majima-san. Uh, let us return to the store. Alright. Hmm. Excellent fight, Majima-san. I attempted to shut down your offense with my own attacks, but I ended up being overpowered. You were really getting up in my face. Is that the right way to use those things? I mean, it was kind of just ambushing us from behind. That was when we took a lot of damage. 
I believe they are best used to press the attack, rather than defend. If you land enough blows, you can even stun opponents, making them ideal against swift foes. So I suppose the best offense is the best defense. Ah. Uh-huh. Got it! Thank you for visiting the Dragon and Tiger. Complete a weapon training, Kali Sticks. Alright. Oh, we can learn all of his moves. I should probably get something to eat, though. Uh, oh. Hello, what do you need? Uh, I'm gonna send Feihu somewhere far away so he can think about what he's done. Oh no, doll girl. I just wanted to find something to eat, but now she's crying. Huh? What the? It's that doll girl bawling her eyes out. What's wrong? Did someone steal the dolls? What's the matter, Scamp? Huh? Oh, who? What is this? The doll I gave you got all messed up. Who did this? I want names. My mom. My mom. Oh, what a bitch. Why? My mom's gonna get killed. Oh my god, your mom's not a bitch. I need to save her. What? The scary man who came to take money showed up. But this time they took her away. And they did this to your doll, huh? Sorry, that <laughs> voice change. Do you have any idea where they took your mom? Why the heck did they take her mom? Like, how's the little girl supposed to pay? If you take the little girl, at least the mom could pay a ransom, but what the heck? I guess they're not that smart. Down by the river, I think. Alright. Come on, kiddo. We gotta bust a move. We'll get your mom, and get revenge for this doll. Stop it! I already paid you back everything I borrowed. Aww. What are you talking about, you dozy cow? We lent you a million yen, remember? But, but I paid it all back by the due date. Huh? Are you really that dense? You ain't paid a drop of the interest yet. <laughs> by my calculation, that's about 13 million yen left to pay. And we want it back now. 13 million? I could never... <sighs> yeah? Guess you leave us no choice then. Uh-oh. Well, I used to work for a loan shark, right? So... You're young enough still. Should earn us plenty of cash out on the street. No! And I know plenty of sickos would pay top dollar for the little kid you got. Holy shit! Oh my god, I can't wait to smash this guy's face and chuck him in the river! What? You can't! Those are the terms of the deal. You work for us until every last yen is paid back. Got it? Your brat's gonna fetch a pretty price, <laughs> too. Probably bring in more than you! <laughs> Leave her alone! My daughter! She's the only family I have left! Please, at least spare her. Please. Hey, get her out of here. The kid will be out in front of that arcade like usual. I'll go scoop her up. Gotcha. Oh, no need for that. Huh? <laughs> I may be wounded, but I can still take you guys on. Huh? And who are you? You ain't here to give us lip about the way we do business, are you? Hmm? Yeah. I don't give a flying shit about your business. You can do whatever the hell you want. And then you're smarter than you look. How about you leave the kid and scram then? <sighs> yeah, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> See, there's two types of people in this world that really set me off. Sorry, we didn't work for a loan shark. That was Kiryu. Aww. Huh? Dipshits who tear up dolls that I went through a lot of trouble to get a hold of. And fuckwits who prey on defenseless women because it makes them feel big. You fit both these bills, asshole. Huh? What? You motherfucker. Huh? You gotta screw loose, you skinny runt. Cause you're begging to get your neck broke. <sighs> Shut your mouths and put up your fists so I can hurry up and beat the shit out of you. You put up your fists? I'll bring out my bat. Here we go. Do I even need a heal? Probably not if you're going down that easily. Here we go. Boom. I should have just chucked you in the river. But that's okay. Knocking out all your teeth and forcing you to eat them. Probably the same satisfaction I'll get. Hey, I ain't done with you yet. I still gotta tear you up as badly as you tore up that poor doll. Ah, mercy! Oh, come on! I was just getting to the fun part! Daddy! Hey, you alright? Huh? Dad? Uh, this is awkward. No. That's my name. Dad. E. <laughs> my surname's E. I'm just... People call me Dad, alright? Yeah, this is the man who bought me all the dolls, Mommy. I call him Daddy. Oh, so that was you. 
my daughter talks about you all the time. Um, I don't suppose I could ask your name? Sure, it's Majima. Majima-san? You've done so much for us. I don't know how to thank you. It was nothing, really. It's a little token of my appreciation. Please accept it. You got a security wallet. Ooh. Appreciate it, lady. Does this mean I won't lose as much money when I get shaken down? I don't know. Daddy? I'm sorry. Huh? huh? What's wrong, Scat? I told you I'd take good care of the dolls, but please don't be mad at me. Of course I'm not mad at you. I did warn you not to hang around there, though. It was a dangerous place, but I'm just glad you're all right. You and your mother. Why would I be mad at you? That ain't your fault. Don't even sweat it. But, listen. Even with its eye coming off and cuts all over, it ain't like it's dead. <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> its heart's still beating. I can feel it. Really? Yeah. Heck, I'm living proof, ain't I? Take a look. When I's gone, but <laughs> I'm doing just fine. Probably don't take a look, though. I might scar you for life. <laughs> You're right. When Bunchan got messed up, you didn't throw it away, right? You're still clutching it close. It looks pretty happy about that, if you ask me. Yeah, that is cute. Really? I'm going to fix him up and keep him safe, then. Yeah, you do that. I better get going. Thank you for everything, Majima-san. You're welcome. All in a day's work. Hmm. Maybe being a civvy isn't so bad. Thanks, Daddy! <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> it's got a nice ring to it. <laughs> oh, I don't know if it's in the cards for you, Majima. Not with the life you lead. What's up? Who's paging me? Ow! Oh, this girl's probably gonna check if I'm alright. Yes, come to me! No, she ran past me! And I just bumped into that guy. Damn it. Oh, well, at least I spotted something over here. I got the Kotomi Asakura Taipei card. I'll take that. Ugh. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was quite the dramatic <laughs> resource gathering mission. Okay, well, we got a couple of items, wooden Kali sticks, I like to see it. You come again soon. Damn, imagine when you're negotiating and then his mom steps in. Did she bring the meatloaf? Oh, I see him. I see him. It's Mr. Shakedown. He's here. All right, I've learned a couple of new moves, buddy. Huh? How about it? Come on, bring it on. Let's go. Oh my. Here we go. Kenji Oe. Alright, I missed the first swipe. I see you're already wounded. What's wrong? I'm feeling it tonight. Oh, right. Into his pop. <sighs> Oh, again! Damn it! Oh, I'm getting wrecked out here. Oh, right over my head! Time to heal! Oh, there we go. How's that? Swung too high, did you? Whereas I got him right in the nose. He's mad. He mad. Oh, really? Gotcha. Give me my money back. You took nine million eight hundred nineteen thousand and twenty-four yen. Damn you! My money! You took my money! Oh, damn it! Uh, you know, half of it is your money, half of it's mine. What's gotten into you? Didn't think you'd make such a big stink about it. Huh? Mind your own business. It's back to square one for me. But I'll get my money back from you and then some. <laughs> I dare you to. No idea what this guy's deal is, but he's no common street thug. Better watch out for him next time. 
Are we talking about Mr. Shakedown still, or this random mascot that's right beside me here? <laughs> the ultimate plan complete. All right, now I can sleep easy at night. Feel like some karaoke now. Come on, let's find one. All right, well, we've been assigned a hit, so what better to take the edge off than to, you know, participate in karaoke? Welcome to Utamhime Karaoke Bar. Would you like something to eat? Uh, yeah, sure, actually, while I'm here. All right, you don't have to <laughs> stare at me as I eat my yakisoba. All right. Thank you. All right, let's go. It's 1,000 yen for a song. Do I want to sing? Solo. I'm gonna sing my heart out. Yeah, people didn't appreciate my singing on the street. So now I'm gonna sing in an enclosed building. Let's see now. Uh, ooh, 24 hours Cinderella. What's a rouge of love? Hmm. Let's go for 24 hours Cinderella. Why not? Okay. This seems like the perfect song for a Yakuza, or at least trying to get back into it. <laughs> oh no, I missed it. it was a top line there. <gasps> that was terrible. Ugh. Oh my gosh, this is terrible. I'm so sorry. It's been a while. And I'm just listening to the music, you know? <sighs> oh no. <laughs> why am I sucking so bad at this? I don't even know why. Alright, we've got to do better for the next one. Look at that gorgeous voice he's got, you know? Being a civilian for a day, it's not so bad. Oh. Ah! oh my goodness, <laughs> that distracted me. Oh no! <laughs> I'm distracted! I can't deal with what's going on in the background! Ah! <laughs> I really want to just see what he's doing! Yeah, this time tomorrow I'll probably killed someone, but it's okay. Ah! 24 hour Cinderella! There we go, that was absolutely horrific. I don't know why we're smiling. 88? Please, I don't deserve that. 12 mistakes, 9 bad, 7 good, but hey, 123 greats. Alright, I think it's time for Rouge of Love. Let's do it. I'm gonna actually sing this. Come on. Let's get into it. I'm your backup singer. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Everybody say Luge of Love! <laughs> That's so cool! Rouge of Love! I can't get so many! Luge of Love! Go! Hi! Hi! Hua! 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 This is great. Ay. Yay. Yay. Hua. 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 Oh my gosh. Kawaii Kosta. Goro Majima. Go. Go. Oremo Kai. Alright, we're doing a lot better here. Probably because Majima's not in the background doing some crazy antics. Oh no, that's my first good for this whole session. I was doing great this entire time. It's gonna knock me off. Oh, another good. There we go. It all starts with the one, then it's a slippery slope from there. Rouge of love. Rouge of love. Can't take my heart. 
I think it's just even more endearing because it's the Japanese voice actors singing in English there. <laughs> I can imagine the voice actors just having so much fun in the booth. After like performing such serious story moments. And now he's just screaming, Who's a flav? Alright, come on, that has to be a 99 or something. Two goods, everything else was great. 89? Oh. Well, there you go. <laughs> You're so good at karaoke. I had lots of fun listening to you. Oh, well, um, thank you. I had lots of fun listening to you. Yeah, I bet you did. I hope you'll come again. Oh, you know I will. Oh, Oh, rouge of love. Oh, rouge of love. I should be, like, whistling as I run outside, but there's something here that I need to check out. Fanson, the Forge's office was around here somewhere. Someone, please help! Guy in love scream. What was that? Sounds like Loverboy's in trouble. You're lucky I just listened to a rouge of love. Oh my gosh. Ow, oh, please, let me go! Cannot do. You tell me real reason why you come here. Wrong answer, finger go bye bye. Please stop! I really only want a necklace. I was given that card and told to come here. Cannot be true. This place top secret. Normal necklace buyer cannot find. B -b -b I'm telling you the truth. Help! Looks like things went sideways. Boy. Hey, he's done nothing wrong. Let him go, will you? What? Majima-san! Hmm? Who are you? Ah, oh, you are a partner of this guy. This place top secret. You know secret, you know stay alive. Sorry, you have to die. Oh, hold on. One of your guys told me about this office. No one here sell out. No traitor here. You dishonor us! You die now! Okay, bring it on. I think I've got some Kali sticks I can use. See if I can take him out, and I'm, a, I'm as good at them as I am as Fei Hu. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, yes! Oh, God! Oh, I love this. Rouge of Love! Ugh. Oh, fantastic. Oh, no, it's broken! Finish you off. There we are. Oh, really? You kicked me from behind there? Ow. Finish you off. Here we go. See you later, Jew. Go. Uh, I'll come so strong. If you just give me a chance to explain myself. Oh. What's going on here? Boys, what happened? Oh, boss. There he is. Fantan. What happened here? Explain. Boss, these guys, they say someone tell them about office. They just come in here. Mm -hmm. Huh? These guys? Oh. Boss, no one tells secret office location. We don't tell anyone, never. These guys like. Uh. Um. Hey, old guy, care to explain? Mm. Fantan, forget to tell boys here you're coming. <sighs> Oh, come on. Jeez. I suppose if I hadn't intervened, he would have walked in eventually. Sorry for the misunderstanding. So then I give business card. <sighs> oh, that what happened. Very sorry, Majima-san. Yeah. Nothing to forgive. <laughs> ah, very good. Everyone all friend. Happy ending. Good, good, good. <clears throat> Just the guy who shit the bed in the first place. <laughs> So we make copy of Destiny Heart Necklace. That all? Ah. Yeah. Can you do it? No problem. We copy weapons. Harder things. Necklace is easy. No worry. We do a good job. Top quality. <laughs> good news, eh? Thank you so much. Okay, we make right away. No watch us work, though. You go outside a little, okay? Alright. Sound like some crafting going on. Was this RuneScape? Just slot a gem into an amulet. Maybe bless it. Okay, he's finished. Excellent quality. Well, well. This is damn good work. Wow. It's exactly like the real thing. I'm sure my girlfriend will be delighted. Okay, here you go. 
Now, promise to Majima-san is done. <laughs> yep, we're square. Phew. Oh, what a huge relief. Thanks to everyone's help, I can fulfill my promise to my girlfriend. I made it just in time for her birthday. Good. Get going, then. Hi. Yes, I better get moving. Thank you so much again. Oh, if only Aaron Boy could be as successful as this guy. Guess that ought to do it, then. Still, that necklace. Even a woman's not gonna know it's a fake. No problem. I sure no one can tell it real, not real. Secret safe forever. Okay. Well, I hope you're right. Fansan says it's okay, but he blows smoke, too. Guess I ought to see how this plays out. Uh-oh. I'll be on my way, too. Thanks. Oh, no, no problem. Thank you to you. Okay, bye-bye, Majima-san. <laughs> see you later. Quest's not over. Here we are. Oh, there's our lover boy. Is he really gonna get away with passing a fake necklace to his gal? Happy birthday. Here's your present. Like I promised, it's a heart necklace from Destiny. Wow, really? I can't believe it. It's so adorable. Turns out she bought the last heart necklace or something, and she knows this is a fake. It's crazy popular now, though. It must have been hard to get. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. It was a real challenge to get. It almost cost me a finger. I have to admit, I was worried. Stores can't keep it in stock, so I wasn't sure you'd be able to get it. <laughs> you know, uh, spent a night standing in line. <laughs> kind of. You spent a whole night in line? You did all that for me? I... Uh, didn't, but... Well, yeah. Something like that. Really? I'm so happy. I'm tearing up now. Oh, thank you. I love you so much. <laughs> That's good. I'm glad it makes you so happy. <sighs> oh dear. He's about to ruin the whole thing. How about that? Looks like he got away with the fake. Yeah, well, he almost blew it. Huh. <laughs> oh. Mm -hmm. Huh? Is something wrong? Mm -hmm. Oh, man, that's the face of a moral dilemma. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Huh? Why are you apologizing? <sighs> I have to tell you what really happened. <sighs> whoa, whoa. Don't tell me he's gonna... That necklace. It's actually... It's actually... It's a fake. Eh? Pardon? It's fake? I'm sorry. Uh. Why? Why did you try to trick me? That's terrible. I'm so sorry. You gave me a fake for my birthday? I feel like an idiot for being so happy. Yep, now it's all going to hell in a handbasket. This calls for the Majima touch. Good. Excuse me, lady. <laughs> oh, God. Mm -hmm. Do we really have to interfere here? Pardon? Eh? Majima-san. <clears throat> Here we go. What do we... How do we salvage this? What on earth possessed you to spill the beans, huh? Because... When I saw how happy it made her, I... Couldn't help but feel this horrible guilt. <sighs> hey, in for a yen, in for a kilo. If you were gonna get a guilt complex, you shouldn't have baked it to begin with. <sighs> I know. I'm sorry. The worst. <sighs> Now everyone's feeling like shit. Great. <laughs> okay, lady, let me clue you in on this, though. That necklace is fake, and your boyfriend's a dingbat. Can't fault you for being upset. <laughs> but he wanted to see you happy. That part is real. Mm -hmm. Huh? He went through a lot to get that fake. The kind of trouble you probably don't want to know about. He ended up in a forger's secret office with his life and his digits in danger. Yeah, he's an idiot, all right. Sure, trying to slip you a fake's a dumb mistake, but he went through all that just so he could see you smile. That desire, that part of it, at least, ain't nothing fake about it. Damn, the Majima touch! There we go, no need to cry. He really went through all that? Ah. Yeah, I'm sorry. You idiot! Huh? How could you be so stupid? What if something happened to you? What am I supposed to do then? Sorry. How does a guy who's missing fingers hold his girlfriend's hand? Uh -huh. Please, no more lies. Just be honest with me. Yes, I'm really, really sorry. Next time, when the real thing is in stock, we'll go buy one together. I don't want it. Oh? Huh? I don't want another one. 
I have this one. But that was just a fake. It's it's real enough for me. And that makes it unique. Huh? Listen to what she's saying. Just telling you the fake that her boyfriend struggled to get shines brighter than the real thing. You worked hard for this one. The other one you just have to pay for, you know? <laughs> she's a fine lady, you fool. You best be good to her. Hi! It's lucky there's no blood on her. <laughs> yes, yes I will. Ajima-san, thank you so much for everything you did for me. For us. Please, I want you to have this. You got a secret wallet. Wow. From now on, I'll always be honest with my girl. No more faking, only what I really feel. Yeah, that's for the best. Hi. Yes, thank you so much. Shall we go? Yep. Ah, uh, another couple saved. Jeez, just call me Cupid, really. <laughs> Fake that shines brighter than the real thing, huh? Heh. <laughs> Stay happy, you two. I'm quite proud of that line. It was pretty good. I'm a good improviser, that's for sure. Alright, how about we call it a night, huh? Let's get some rest.